in the 80s, we went from Miami to Montreal on I-95 looking for comic book shops. And she had some kind of intuitive radar radar <laughs> to find a comic book shop in any city. Were, and back then there were a lot of them. Google will take us to the closest comic book shop. Yeah, there was, just, there wasn't that. that. Yeah, and, 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 and she could do it. And so, like, we would just go and buy, oh, I'd like, like, these four or five killing jokes, number one, when it first came out. Different things like that. But you, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. If you had to get rid of every single book on here except for one, which would it be? Uh, Poison Ivy. See, we're on the same page. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great one. You chose the wrong one, Angela. Yeah, it's a, that's hard to come by. Like, you, you can find <laughs> Giant Size <laughs> X-Men. You can't find, that's right, top 2%. Two percent. That's hard to find. Oh, so this is top 2% on yes. the census. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. But I would love to take a look at that, that Brave and the Bold collection you said you had too. For sure. The, the, uh, the Raw collection. I've never seen a complete run of Brave and the Bold. So. How many issues is this? Two, 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 yeah, it's, exactly it's a lot. Flat, really. Which is funny. Is it exactly 200? Exactly 200. Wow. And you have to also have the um, Pizza Hut 28. 28 variant oh, for the complete funny. collection. If you're here, on oh, can we come yeah. in there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's a little bit tight. Yeah. So the, the first. Oh wow. Seven oh are brave and the bold. Yeah, the first seven console. Console. I didn't know you had it slabbed. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's why I said it's the only slabbed complete run of brave and the bold. In the this world? Thing. Yeah. Is that's it? crazy. There's someone who has a better overall mm -hmm. collection. Oh my point, gosh. But this, this is the only complete collection. Wow. No way. No freaking <laughs> way. That is insane. Oh. This is an entire <laughs> complete right, so Brave and the Bold collection. Oh my gosh. 1955 Brave and the Bold number one in a 7.0. Wow. And then number two. 1955. You like never see these. And when you do, they're not that high of grade. There's a 28, so it's actually the full collection. Yeah, so there you go. So the Brave and the Bold 28 First Justice League is in this run. Are there any other keys in this run too that are like... That's the biggest, for sure. Yeah, 29, 29 is 29 big. 29 is 30, wow. for sure. That's awesome. What made you want to get this complete like this? Just being a big Batman fan, just that's, that's the one that was paired off and it was Batman and another superhero. And so just... Yeah. Well, there's 30 there. This is the third appearance of the Justice League, first appearance of Amazo. So did you have like grades in mind for like a minimum you were trying to get? No, with this with this run, we were just trying to get the entire run. So we were, we were aspiring to get better grades. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Hawkman. Whoa, yeah. this is a big book. I forgot about yeah, this one. Too, yeah. Origin, first appearance of the Silver Age Hawkman and Hawkgirl. This is a sick book. I forgot that was in there. And you'll see once you get to like 150 plus or 100 plus. We tried to shoot for 9.8. Oh, wow. Now, but that got too difficult just because they're not always for sale. Yeah. yeah, so did you guys buy these raw or would, would you Mi get them all bag. graded? Mixed bag. Probably about 50 50. First yeah. appearance of the Shadow Thief. And I love these ones with the date stamps on yeah, them too. I do too. You I know, really and they really don't do. take off for that either from back I know, in the day. Which I love. Yeah. It's pretty awesome to go. Issue 37. Wow, look at these Brave and the Bold. Dude. This is sick. This is so awesome. I really didn't know. What to expect, I guess, when you said you had the whole run. Great. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Brave and the Bold. This is, oh, this is Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah, that was also. Task they, Force They, they X. came out of Brave and the Bold. Suicide Squad did. What issue was their first issue? Was that, that may have been. I, think, I really think they came out of Brave and the Bold. Origin first appearance of Metamorpho. I forgot that was in this run. Wow, there's a lot of little keys in, in I agree. That's kind of a neat thing about the series is that it's it's kinda of like showcase. Oh metal men? Cool things. Yeah. I never realized how many keys are in this run actually. And the Adam too on the bottom there. Metal Men is a great, great team. I would love for I really like them, yeah. Yeah, I would love for James Gunn to do so. Oh I forgot this was in here too. Origin first appearance of the Teen Titans. Brave and Bold fifty four. Man, that's a good one there. You got Aqualad, Robin, Kid Flash. So do you have like a plan with this or are you just, is this? Just want to be the first person to have the entire run as far as CGC. Would you ever sell this? And if you did, how would you, would you sell the entire run or? Uh, I, in my life I wouldn't. Uh, my son here is the one who helped me collect it. So it's probably going to be his. Oh yeah, here's more of the Metamorpho. 
Brave and the Bold 58, second appearance of Metamorpho. Issue 59, first Batman team up in Brave and the Bold. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So this is the first one, issue 59 with Batman and Green Lantern. I didn't know that <laughs> Oh, wow, here you go. I yeah, forgot that, that, this that, was in that, here. One, yeah. First appearance of the new Wonder Girl, Donna Troy, who joins the Titans. Man, lots of little keys in this run. I, I totally forgot about. Oh, here you go. Origin of Black Canary. That's a big book. In most of those with the new CGC label, we purchased raw. That's a nice. And they got them all graded. There's not that many that are graded to begin with. Look at that cover with all them down there. That's so awesome. Oh, yeah, in the corner. 9.6 from 1966. Do you have like a favorite artist? Probably Neil Adams. <laughs> I was going to say, as a Batman yeah, fan, yeah, you, yeah, you kind of have to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> Phantom Stranger. Oh, that's a cool great one over. there. Yeah, this yeah. is a good one. I like that cover a lot. With the House of Mystery. Another Neil Adams cover. Do you remember which issue was like the hardest one to get? Or were they all pretty um, much just... Some of the higher ended ones were kind of hard to get just as far as being rated. The number one was probably the trickiest because I wanted a higher grade. I've never seen the number one before. Yeah, I really love that cover. First appearance of the Viking Prince. Yeah, I'd love to have a higher grade than that, but the seven was. It's still, I mean, decent, yeah. for that that long ago, it's before I was born. So I think the last two we got were number thirteen and number sixteen. I don't know if there's significance in them at all, but I remember those being kind of tough to come oh, by. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, seventeen we had to replace two of the numbers. Yeah, 17 got lost in the mail, so we, oh, had, no. we had to buy it twice. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah. We're going to 13 and 17. Let's see yeah. 17 I, I think we got that one wrong. Yeah, that was, oh, that's I a good cover there, like, though. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> issues and different things. Yeah. Yeah. I was so this that. is the final issue of Brave and the Bold. Oh, yeah, yeah. issue yeah. 200. Why did I forget what that was? First appearance of Batman and the Outsiders. Yeah, it's like a little, this is like a key everybody's always looking for. Small little minor key. Oh, oh, oh b before the scandal recently, my son. Is that you? My sons, like, pirated a CDC case and made their own comic. No, yeah. that's, awesome. that's a brave and bold 199. Oh, so this is a crack like slab. A, it's like a, it's like a book that's so funny. It's like a, I just... a nothing book they converted to be a book that they created. So I love awesome. that. Pretty funny, right? Ooh, that's a nice back row variant. Issue 23. Yeah, you're not a, I like the cover a lot. I was going to say, you're not a big modern collector, so no, the stuff you that, do collect... That's one of the ones that stood out to me. I just like the yeah, cover. the stuff you do collect is all like um, like variants and cover buys, yeah, the modern yeah. stuff. It's the 9.2. We saw those earlier. Great new Adams cover. Oh, that's cool. Signed by Frank Miller. 9.6. The year one on 404. Ooh, there you go. 9.4 on the 423. Ooh, and a 9.6. So you have the 9.4, 9.6, and 9.8 on the first print. That's really nice. Mike Mignola cover, Death in the Family, Part 1. Yeah, that's the original collection there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, do you have the set here? Oh, look, just the... Yeah, I, should, uh, I think I just have a couple there, but... Yeah. This is the Death of Robin on this issue. Great Mignola covers. Frank Miller. That's what got me back into collecting comics. Really? This okay. run? That that particular run, I, I, I we went into a comic book shop, shop in Richmond, Virginia, and they said, if you like Batman, you should read The Dark Knight, and that totally got me back into comics. That's awesome. Yeah, these are all first prints here, too. This is a really nice cover. Yeah, those are all... Yeah, that's nice. amazing. Oh, there you go. Everybody's favorite. First print on The Killing Joke. This is where Joker cripples Barbara. Do you have like 10 of those? Oh, wow. You can always tell the printings by the, yep. well, the CGC <laughs> case will tell you, but it's always the colors. I think, isn't there some crazy amount, like 15 of them or something, like, like a lot of them. Oh, different just, variations? Yeah, there's like a printings? lot of different printings of this book. Yeah, that's one of the things we used to go up and down the coast to find more of those. I think at one point we had 15 of those. Oh, wow. And they were, they were cheap. They were like three bucks, four bucks back then. What is this book? That's a limited series, four issue run of Catwoman. And later you'll see the original, some original art from that very book. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Great Expectations by Charles yeah, Dickens. Classics Illustrated was a, a run that went for decades and they 
adapted classic novels into comic books. Oh, here you go, Stan. That's cool. Yeah, my only Stan. You only have one? Only one. I think. Stan Lee signed Captain America Casualties of War. And it's like the cover. Oh, that's funny there. It says when... Signed on his 92nd birthday. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> you ever notice that CGC messed up the label? No, I didn't. They said 92. Th no, it's 92. 92. <laughs> it's supposed to be 92nd. They put TH instead oh, of ND. <laughs> oh, here's another Star Wars. 9.8. So when, when you have duplicates of a book in the same grade, is it just because you like it? Yeah. Yeah, like I, I just felt like that was... A good book, one. like, and I like um, symmetry. Like I have three of those and three of the Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah, three of those. Big Ahsoka, Ahsoka fan. Ahsoka, yeah. Jimmy Olsen. That's my first CGC I ever bought. Really? Oh, this really? one right that, here. That, that's why I hang on to it because I was like, "What's a CGC thing?" And I was online on eBay and I, I bought that book for like thirty bucks. And I was like, I like, I love that they were encasing comics mm -hmm. and engraving them. I was like, this is awesome. So that's the first book I bought. So even though it's an A5, I never gave it up. Tarzan number one. Yeah, a, a loose story. I'm vaguely related to Edgar Rice Burroughs. And so I have an affinity to Tarzan. Oh, wow. So you'll see, cool. like, that's the first DC Tarzan. That's, that's a little, Oh, this one's little signed little by one. Joe. That's yeah, awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, this is a fun one here. V for Vendetta number one. That was my Ooh, book. here you go. This is cool. This low, is low grade, but fun. This was the book you bought off the shelf. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's oh wow. Obviously a low grade. So. 1952. Weird science. It's such a cool cover, though. Yeah. Three point five. Who doesn't like dinosaurs a lot? I know. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> this book I that's, remember was expensive a, at one point. Yeah, that's out. the one that, that you got a bunch of. Like five or six of those. They're worth nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, oh, there you go. There's probably another one. There is. Wow. <laughs> that's a good yeah, one too. Yeah, that's a cool one. And I think people really like that cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Joe Fix It. Yeah, Joe Fix It. I think I'll go down for a long time to see a classic cover. Wolverine, Silver Samurai appearance signed by Joe Casada. I never seen that cover before. That's pretty awesome. Issue thirty six, Danny. That's nice too. Chris Claremont signed. X-Men 44, that's cool. First Silver Age Red Raven. And funny story, in my grandmother's house in the attic, I found a copy of that book with part of the cover torn, and so it always intrigued me, and that's why I bought that book, because it was in my grandmother's attic. Oh, I was like, I, cool. you couldn't leave me an Action Comics number one? Right. <laughs> oh, this is a great one here. Dang, 9.8. This is the first solo Wolverine, right? They don't put it on the label. But this is the first time, like, first solo story Wolverine had in the X-Men. Great John Byrne cover. Terry Austin. Man. And then over here, it looks like, last but not least, we got some graded, um... This looks like a trade That's, book that's a Frank Miller signed and numbered uh, Dark Knight Returns. There's only 2,000 of them. Got the original, uh... This is nuts. What is this? Whoa! Whoa! Look at Frank Miller, the stud. <laughs> so young, right? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. This that's one we so bought cool. in our shop in Richmond, so that's more important to me. But the other mm -hmm. one is up front. So is this the complete Dark Knight story? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, wow, that's and awesome. He, he signed and numbered everyone. There's a number on the outside oh, of the box, so cool. which is a lower number than the. Oh, sorry, this is a higher number than the one I have up front to give you. Um, the one up front is like a thousand. This is like you're not giving one of these. Yeah. To yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 not. This is awesome, though. It's not but yeah, that, I told you that's a book that got me back into collecting. So it's that's super awesome. important. I've never I seen there. Yeah. The seats in there too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little right tiny seat. Yeah. 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 That's funny. Dave's comics and cards. <laughs> yeah, right there, Dave's comics. Yeah. That's awesome. What we got over here. Ooh, look at I see creepy. <laughs> look at that. Comics International, Warren Magazine, 1975. Yeah, there were only a few of those they did, but it's fine. Ooh, dang. Yeah. Original collection, all these you can see. Oh, so these are all yeah. yours. Yeah, I would have bought a higher grade, but that's my original creepy from oh, that's being awesome. a kid. Wow. They do such a great job with the covers. Mm -hmm. They did, yeah. That's Frazetta. 
Yeah. All right, Colin. Mm-hmm. First Edgar Allan Poe ad adaptation in title. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's I love awesome. That one. Dang, <laughs> anything with a wolf and you got me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> a wolf and a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> look at all these crazy covers. Issue number 14, 1967, creepy. Oh, that one's pretty nuts. The bondage yeah. cover yeah. with them burning the the girl on the on the pole. That's pretty crazy. 1973. Yeah, I feel like they're art. Yeah, yeah they yeah, are. They're exactly. Art. Well, a yeah. lot of these are like painted covers, right? Yeah. So like, it's not like nowadays where a lot of the stuff they do is online mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you don't get the, the detail, you know? Mm -hmm. Interesting, this book, you could only get if huh. you were a spirit person you had to oh. like collect stuff and send it in to get this book so it's an extremely small print run but it's just not it's kind oh, of that's cool book. yeah sold but, through mail order only yeah oh, and that awesome. was probably really hard to get back it, in it 1975 yeah. it really was and so that's the book i never give up i love that book you have an awesome collection you <laughs> yeah, this is awesome i can't i can't get over that though that is Whole insane. Oh, Brave and the Bold collection. This was the one thing that brought us together to collect. And so we're like, we're going to do Brave and the Bold. And we awesome. started with like 10 9.8s in the hundreds. Yeah. And we we're like, oh, we could get the best version of every yeah. single <laughs> book. Eventually led to like, let's just complete the collection. Yeah, this just get fun. Yeah. Treasury ones over here. Oh, so, oh. so these are... This is all yours. This is all yours right here. I can't believe, wow. Yeah, big little That's books. So like I had, a, I had a few of those growing up. Oh, look, it's a little thumper. Oh my gosh, I've never seen That's that so before. Cool. Thumper and the Seven Dwarves, wow. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, here's another one of those books. The Lux Edition. Old Man Wolverine. That's sick. Oh, those are some cool trades. Oh, and he's got the Batman Year One in there too. Oh, wow, those are some really, really nice stories in there, actually. All right, let's check See. this out, though. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> and there it is. Whoa, that's actually signed. That's so cool. And numbered. Number 1013 out of 4,000. This is incredible. That's awesome. That is so cool. Whoa, and it's got all of... Let's do that real quick. I guess it's... It's like the complete run. Of the Dark oh, my Night. gosh. That's so cool. Randall, are you sure you want to give that? Yeah, yeah, this is all part of the deal. And I had to slew more of those, but I couldn't get to them because they're in storage. Because it was safe, and it's behind mm -hmm. the safe, so it's not easy yeah. to get to. But not the sign ones, other, other books. I can't believe yeah, it. That's so cool. This right here is insane. <laughs> Numbered sign by Frank Miller. Wow. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I just... You're not giving us the Muhammad Ali. Yeah, there was an auction for, there was a, a YouTube creator who died, a comic book creator, and they did a charity event for his oh, family. Oh, wow. Aww. And I bought that at that event. No way. Yeah. That, this is a really awesome book. And then the first edition, mm -hmm. Detective. Wonder Woman. Oh, and a cool, is that 17 calendar? That one's still sealed. That's cool. These are two, look, it's little postcards. Isn't that cool? A hundred postcards. Oh, and they got the covers of the comics on the back. Isn't that so fun? The Dark Knight. That's cool. Oh, you yeah, got Katniss. the pop too. Katniss pop. Oh, look at that Oh, Joker this is a cover. cool cover. That's fun. Lots of Batman stories. Superman. What is that one there? Archives, Volume 1. Greatest team up. And the boy who loved Batman. This one, the original art. Is over here. Oh, it's There's a full page. Oh, oh wow! So this is faded. When we got it, there it was, was a, cat. a cat face, it's and it up here it says "Mass Cat." Series. And so you could kind of uh -huh. see it, but it's just deteriorated. How long have you had this for? That's awesome. We probably bought that in Chicago. No, we bought it in Richmond. Oh, then Richmond. thirty-five years. Thirty-five. Years. Wow, thirty-five awesome. years ago. And Matt, there, the artist, actually, while we were there wrote his name up there in front of us. Oh yeah. Which is kind of neat. This is the actual page from the original art. So they said there was a cat in their original art piece, but they must have decided not to put it in the comic. And you're throwing all these slabs in too? You decided yeah. these are ones you didn't yeah, want to hold on to? They're mostly duplicates and other things. And just because I told you they're all related, I told you about the Edgar Rice Burroughs connection mm -hmm. being related. So that's, that's the first DC 
um, Tarzan. Uh, this, I was 12 years old and wrote, wrote a letter, and my letter's in this book. <laughs> I was 12 years old. So cool. This is a very little print run Erie, number 17, which is my lucky number, I was born in 17. And that book is, I think, the single best copy. There are only five in that grade, there's nothing better, and that's the only one in white pages. So awesome. I just loved finding that book and yeah. buying that book because I always sought after it. My son always wanted to make it good books first too, so I finally got good books first too. <laughs> Not a big indie fan? <laughs> he didn't like them. That's cool, Batman 405. This is part two and part three of the year one storyline. Oh, it looks like you got part four. So you decided to keep the part one and get rid of the other parts. Whoa, you're not throwing that what? in there. Nine, four, nine, six, nine, eight, you're good dog. No, you can't. I'm all good. I, I, that's what I added to like spice it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart knows, I did, I said, I have that one. Is this a duplicate of yeah, your Brave all, and the Bull? All the Brave and Bulls are Yeah, all the Brave and Bulls. Lower grades of the duplicate. Wow. Oh, he's Brave and the Bulls. Look at that, 186. 9.6. Look at that pink cover, too. Yeah, it's a beautiful pink cover. Crisis. Newsstand copy. Yeah, I, you, I have too many of those. <laughs> you know, oh, you seen, got a, there's you know, two of them. See, there are a few in there. Those, those are my original like, Wow, oh, that's awesome. I'm rating a bunch, but I don't want the 9 Are you a big Perez fan, or did you just like the story? Perez, and I just love the cover. Especially the cover. That's a great one. Oh, man. I love that. Yeah, McFarlane. I love those McFarlane covers. Detective 577. There's another one there. Year 2 storyline, 1987. Todd McFarlane on Detective. Wow, that's a really nice one too. First John Constantine in his own title. Hellblazer number one in a 9.2. I love that book. Oh, I've never oh, seen that cool before. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. Dark X-Men, the beginning, number one, 1960s variant cover. Yeah, a few funky ones. Yeah, that's cool though. Oh, look at that Dr. Doom cover, 199. That's cool, Keith Pollard. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Family Affair number four. And it's a file, file copy. copy. What does that mean? That means that the publisher kept some, like in a file. Oh, oh. Like, like, uh, the, that's cool. Um, EC Comics, the, the very high grade books tend to be file copies. They kept at EC Comics. Oh, wow, that's a nice 9.8. And John Carter is a Edgar Rice Burroughs creation again tied to Tarzan. Yep. Tarzan, yeah. Frame cover. Book, yeah, this is when they were doing like the homage to the 25th anniversary mm -hmm. covers. Yeah, I just like that. Zeb Wells story. Oh, this is isn't this a big book? That's number three. Number I, one is a bigger book than that. Yeah, this is an early Ahsoka appearance, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, it's number, I think it's the third. Wow, yeah, they don't put it on the label there. That sign. Oh, that's that's cool. cover I like. By Terry Moore, number two, Abstract Studios, Strangers in Paradise, 9.8. Neat cover, both of them, the second one's the same thing. Yeah, back in the day, CGC's cases, they're old ones, they used to have the labels on the top. Oh, I know very well. And yeah. you get the yeah, peeling right peeling. there, yeah. yeah. That's a nice one there. Dark germ wearing cover. Oh, there's the way. <laughs> Another one. That's awesome, though. That is awesome. There are many if you want them. <laughs> That's it's. It, I think isn't it the first appearance though, or something of? Yeah. Yeah. Taboo was the part of. He's the part of the Black Eyed Peas. Wrote the comic, and he's Native American. So. Mm. Oh yeah, right there. Wow. X Men Forty Four. Yeah, I remember. That's the one I found on my grandma's. Attic and I have a higher grade. So wow. I was gonna say we saw the duplicate higher yeah. grade over there. Yeah. Wow. Uh this is insane. This is awesome guys. You guys are gonna be getting some awesome stuff thanks to <laughs> thanks to Randall and hopefully we can uh see everybody at the next house show and, and you know give give a lot of this stuff away and have some fun. We still got all these books to look at too. <laughs> Randall, you <laughs> You guys are awesome. You guys really are. This is this has been a once. I will never forget this. I don't. I will. I, I don't think I will ever forget this. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I'll keep that one. Look at these creepies. 
Oh my uh, gosh, so no cool. way. Wow. We almost bought these at Tom's yeah, show. We did, yeah. <laughs> wow, and these are really nice. Oh my gosh. Look at these creepy mags. Oh, nice. We almost, we literally almost bought that one. Oh, remember that oh, one? I, oh my gosh. I almost bought that in December. <laughs> she almost went during Christmas. I was Christmas. like, we have to get it. They're Santa. I saw the video when you were. That's so awesome. Let me see when it's creepy. Yeah, all these awesome covers. Wow, and you really, so these are books that you bought yourself off the yeah, shelf? Yep. Wow. You kept really good. You did, yeah, these are nice. Everything. Yeah, that's one of my letters in when I was 12 years old. Yeah, this, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up when I get home. <laughs> these look at these covers. Because everybody's always looking for magazines yeah. and they're so like so hard to find. They are really hard to find. Yeah. Oh I love that cover. Oh my gosh. I said I wasn't gonna look through every book and I'm over here looking through <laughs> every book. I'm sorry, I just get lost in it sometimes. The more the comics, so that's good. There's yeah, the seven. Yeah, the eerie. Wow. There's a whole box of eerie and creepy mags. Look at all these beautiful covers. That one's cool. That one's nice too. Oh yeah, I almost bought that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I almost bought a lot of these. Oh, that's cool. Secret Wars number two. Four. 188. Oh, there's another one of those new mutants that's not created. Marvel feature. Oh, that's cool. The Mighty Isis, number one. Mr. Miracle. Nom, number one. All the Teen Titans. Oh, that's a cool Joe Cooper cover. Rye, that's fun, too. Number zero. Ronin from Frank Miller. There's book one there, that whole run. Shazam. Look at that. Big Shazam. Big issue. Oh, there's a few of them here. These were pretty popular at one point when the movie was coming out. Wow. So many awesome books. I think he said over here is Superman. Look at that. I love Superman. Yeah, these are those those good sticky bags. <laughs> That's how you know they've been sitting in the box for 30 years. Yeah, look at all this Superman. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Oh, this is a big... Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's the first... Um, what's his name? Yeah, that's the oh, first Bloodsport. appearance of uh, Bloodsport. Man, that's oh, a, good look. Yeah, that's a cool book. Lots of, lots of stuff in here, I'm sure, that we'll, we'll be digging through and finding as we go through. Like this. Yeah, there's the Tarzan, first DC issue. That's awesome, Joe Cougar cover. Some more Tarzan. Lots of Tarzan, these Edgar Rice. Issue 256. Some X-Men. Those are fun. That's a good cover there, Liefeld. Ooh, and then Watchmen, that's a fun run there. The Watchmen. Issue 8 of 12, yeah, that's a 12 issue limited series. Oh, that's cool, Wolverine issue 2. Witching Hour, issue 57. Wow, we're gonna have to go through this box when we get home too, because there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's another 44. Who got you into collecting? Really? No one? <laughs> Just liked it. Like I was a big nerd and, you know, Love to watch mo tiny, movies. And, yeah, I grew up in a very tiny 300 person community, oh, wow. a fishing village in South Carolina outside of Charleston. House of Secrets. Justice League. Oh, that's cool. I think this one. Oh, you got a bunch of these here. Yeah, that was a redo of Justice League that I kind of liked. I think this one kind of popped up a little bit recently, though. Um, some movie news or something. Okay. That's a nice one there, 141. Oh yeah, these Justice Leagues are awesome. Like this era, Wonder Woman, giant size. Look at all these Justice Leagues. 
sticky bags. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, this is really nice though. Everybody likes Justice League because there's you get all the characters on them, so it's not like you only get Flash or just Batman. You get a little bit of everything. Red Tornado, origin of the Red Tornado. You didn't want to do a Justice League run after the Brave and the Bold? Thought about it. I mean, that that was my original thing was trying to do a Justice League run. Abandoned that and went to Dragon Ball with my son. <laughs> oh, Commandy, these are awesome here. Yeah, I like Commandy. I mean, some people don't, but like the first issue, especially. I've had Affinity 4 forever. I've had many. Oh, covers. you got the first one yeah, in here? Many oh, man, that's, that's awesome. That book. I just like it. It's a great cover. Death in the Family. Got a bunch of them here. Three of them. Yeah, again. <laughs> Gotham by Gaslight. Yeah, they kept trying to recreate the magic of Dark Knight. Kind of didn't really happen. <laughs> yeah, that was. They were good, but they weren't. That was Mike Mignola's take on it. Batman Flash. Blue Beetle. Number one. What is that? Captain America. Captain Marvel. 241. Some more of that Catwoman run. The limited series. Ooh, Crisis. That's a good yeah, book. Death of Supergirl. Death of Supergirl, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another number one. <laughs> <laughs> a theme. Ooh, look at. Whoa, no way. Whoa. I love that cover. You're not putting this in there. No <laughs> way. I have a CGC. Are you like, kidding I me? Really I love that book. I don't know why I love that book. Why do you love that book? Because it's Daredevil 5. <laughs> I love, I, I, but why? I love the book. I love the cover. I I'm, not, I'm not tied to any particular character. I just love So the this is yellow. You got yellow costume Daredevil. Okay. I love that. And I mean, yeah, it's a great cover, Stupid. but I just, I've never even had this before. This is... He likes this book too. Yeah. He, he knows. I love yeah, that yeah, book. Yeah. This, is a, this is a great book. First appearance of the Matador. This but is a I, sick I one. Lose the you know, <laughs> I love that book. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why. This is nuts. That is crazy. That's nuts. Wow. That's crazy. And he's got this in there too. Great book. Everybody loves Daredevil, right? Mm -hmm. Especially the Vermeer run. Dark Horse Presents. Those are cool. I'm still looking for that first Hellboy. Oh, look at these detectives. These are oh, nice. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, you can't really see it too well. Yeah, these are cool. It's your 380. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this a whole run of detective? There should be a fair amount of detective. Oh my gosh, no way. Look at all these detectives. Wow. Oh. This is insane. I love these detectives. I love detective guys, as far as I love. Oh wow, it's like a whole run of detective in here. Oh, those are really nice. Wow. Batman with Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, look at that. All detective comics and he's got the annual. One from the Fables, Doctor Fate. One Fate too many. Flash. Oh wow! Look at all the Flash too. Two seventy-seven. Giant size. Doc Savage. That one's really cool. I guess you, you had it all alphabetized. I didn't realize. <laughs> I just looked at it from the end. I just realized actually, looking at the action comic. That's funny. Wow, look at these though. These are great. Nobody's really too excited about Superman right now, but I think it'll change in a little bit. These are Neil Adams covers. Yeah, these are really cool books. If you're a Superman fan, very solid. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sensory overload today. Action Comics, 600. It's just a whole run of Action Comics. Superboy and Adventure Comics. Oh, and you got Aquaman and Adventure Comics. 
with Dead Man. Everybody loves Dead Man. Wonder Woman. X Men Amazing Adventures. Those are the reprints from the originals. Batman, what is this? Collector's Edition. Yeah, that's a Pizza, Pizza Hut Collector's yeah. Edition. Oh, and then here's the. Whoa, look at the Batmans! These are so awesome. 358. What's this one back here? I love these Batman covers. Joker, Penguin, Riddler. So these are all books you bought off the shelf. That is so awesome. I wish I was alive back then. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the comic book shop every week and. Uh -huh. There's some cool books that come out, but they're not this cool. Oh, the Ten Nights of the Beast storyline, that one's fun. Yeah, agreed. Oh, it looks like you got the whole run here, too. Yeah, see, this is the Ten Nights of the Beast, one through four. First appearance of the KG Beast in that run. Oh, you got all the two uh, the three-part series here. Oh, this is a good one, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. First, First Tim, Drake. Tim Drake, I think, on that one. I just want to say thank you very much for allowing us in and, and getting some awesome footage for everybody and uh, for for giving us the books. I've never had anybody really do that before, so I'm, I'm excited to share the uh, the gift you've given us with everybody. Well, it was only because you give so much to the comic community and I'm giving back to 